show to another episode of Dishman on our show. And I read an article about what Sony said that the economy of the um, the Vita having a triple A title would not work due to the fact that for one, you know, it's just it's just not you know, it's doing okay, but not doing so hot in store and they practically just saying that they just don't want to, to put big name titles on the game that's got a you know a system that got abysmal sales. You, you know they just gotta be the be smart. On that they got mercenary and um and uncharted golden abyss. Those are the biggest games they got on there. They were wondering if the Vita could actually last just with streaming for precious and now indie titles and third party games. You know like. So as the tale series, all the RPGs that they've been getting lately, or Borderlands, you know, all the third, you know, the third party games could actually laugh out no big hitters for the first party, and it can. However, due to the fact that they lack the big hitters, it don't actually fit the price of the thing. The game, to be honest with you, should be one forty nine, but. You know, Sony trying to make a profit, trying to make money due to the technology that they put in it. However, they they are not going to deliver the first party games that we see on the PS3 or the PS4. And two, sales start picking up on the system. Once they have more faith in the system, we may see more third party games. But until then, they focus on remote play. They focus on PlayStation Now. And the game that the third party developer actually developed for the system that all they have to be focused on I mean I think the Vita can do well uh, it's not completely dead I mean I'm buying one due to the fact that I got all the damn RPGs I'm an RPG fan but a lot of gamers are not like how I am they want some first they want some first person shooters they want some third person shooters they want some big name games or GTA on there they want games like that Running on their Vita. Me, I'm I'm satisfied with Tales, Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, whatever we can get on there. I'm I'm satisfied if I get an RPG that actually got a appealing story, likable characters, fun gameplay. I'm okay with the damn system. But like I said, people want to have that console experience on their goddamn handheld. It'll be actually hard to actually get that. But we gonna we gonna see how it's gonna do it the next couple of years. Hopefully Sony can actually turn this system around. It got potential. They need to actually utilize the potential. But anyway, I tell you guys think I'm about to take my ass to sleep. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out of here. Peace.